Constant exposure to another person's trauma can have a detrimental effect on your emotional well-being. And we know that as single women, as unmarried women, that many times that our married friends come to us to trauma dump. And when they do that, what they're doing is they're releasing their pain and then we end up taking it on, don't we? So she goes back to her abusive husband and then we just, I can't believe she's going back to him. And then she goes back to him and their conversation becomes about you, about how you told her that she needs to do better, she needs to leave, or he needs to do this. And even some of us have put ourselves in harm's way by going to go talk to the husband. You're doing my homegirl wrong. That's this woman. She has agreed and sworn before the white Jesus that he is her head, that she will obey him. And that is her all. They don't have room for us. They need to be working with their husband and their children. How many of our married friends that we've had to take on the role of being the father to their children as single women because the husband's not doing what he's supposed to do? How many of us have paid their bills? How many married women have come to you and asked for money to help them pay their bill or pay their phone bill and they got a man? But these same married women that you will go to them about something that has happened to you, your heart is crushed or you need money for your cell phone bill or something, or pay a bill. And I had to ask my husband. He said no. And I can remember a time personally when I went to one of my married friends that I was the closest with. She's not a friend anymore because let me tell you what she did to me. I had a very traumatic experience with a man that I really loved that she introduced me to. We ended up breaking up and I went through the, the heartbreak of going through the breakup and I went to her house. And laid on her couch and told her everything that he had done and how I was feeling. And you know what she did? She looked at me and said, see, that's why I'm so glad I got a husband. That's why I'm so married. I don't have to deal with that. And got up and walked in the kitchen and started washing dishes. You see, you've got to be a good friend to have good friends. You've got to be supportive in order to be supported. But mo a lot, too many married women think that their single friends, your single sister, they think that we can just carry carry them, that we don't have anything going on in our lives, that we're not busy at all. And the reason that we're so busy, because we're so busy worrying about them. Like, think about it. The, the, the only time that you really have problems, single, unmarried woman, is when you're dealing with the man or dealing with the married woman. That's when all of our problems come in. The rest of the time, our lives can be just smooth sailing, but we're worrying about you being abused. We're worrying about what you need. Have you ever gone to your single friend and just said, hey, you know, what, what you need help with? Have you ever gone to your single friend's house and helped her clean up? But when she come over to your house, she's washing your kids' clothes and helping you clean their room. What have you done for us lately? <laughs>